thank you and thank you all for having me on this call so basically um what i have to present today is not too much of uh, it's just a simple sharepoint agents uh, there's no complexity in it so i'm just going to jump right into it all right basically um i have so about me my name is ezekiel i'm with kpn and jmbs in mortar so on the key areas of where i work i do to work on the co entry certified co-pilot as well as co-pilot studio and then with uh, SharePoint and Teams application deployment. So I have my LinkedIn, you can connect with me and I have, do have some of my publications that I put out there on medium.com. So just to go through the overview of what um, the SharePoint report agent is. First of all, of course, we all know what SharePoint agent is. It just at least to reiterate once more what it's what it's composed of. SharePoint agents being an AI system that is grounded with the contents existing in your SharePoint site, pages, or any of your selected files. And then how do you have access to it? Of course, we know we have to be licensed with Microsoft 365 Copilot to be able to have access to SharePoint agents. And so to the to the big one, um, to the major, to the content of today, which is the finance reports agent, and uh, what it entails, it's just about uh, financial reports. I mean, financial documents that is being created in different formats like Word, Excel, and PDF, comprising of financial reports and statements, quarterly reviews of financial data. So we're going to see how the uh, the agent was. Uh, and try to pull data from the uh, document library where all of the files resides and uh, summarize the content within so as to create for easy uh, access to the data. So just to extend a little bit of SharePoint capability or around uh, M365 integrations, we all know we, have, we can be able to create M365 apps via SharePoint online. Um, even with, um, we can create Word, Excel, PowerPoints, from the SharePoint document library, you know, so there's the uh, existing feature there, which we can be able to do document creation. And then we have tax management with planner, employee and document search. We have Power BI reporting and analytics. So, and then we have Power Automate workflow automation. So, which you can always use Power Automate to 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 work on any automation projects. Then using SharePoint as the data source for it. And then we have employee communication and collaboration with Teams. We all know that we can also assess SharePoint content via Teams, depending on the channels that exist within our M365 tenants. So let's go right into the demo shortly. Um, what to, to showcase what we have today for the finance report agent. Okay, so let me switch to my screen. Okay, so I did did some beautification around the SharePoint sites. I tried to at least make it a little bit more, um, you know, visually appealing. So what I did was to at least surface the agents on the SharePoint landing page. We can have access to the SharePoint agent, which I mean, we refer to the finance report agent. We can have access to it via this point to, uh, you know, begin to assess the, um, to query the agent in terms of asking the relevant questions that pertains to finance reporting. And then we let me also show us the, the document library where all of the documents resides as to see where the source is. Yeah, so we have all of the documents for the reports here, and then we can see that the agent is here as well. So but, um, just to reiterate that, by creating it, we, we can simply just go to create an agent and then it brings us up with this dialog box where we can be able to at least fine tune what our agent should be about. And then we can come to the edit button to click on edit and go through with the different areas of uh, uh, adjustments by giving the name and changing the icon to reflect what the agent is about, then the purpose of the agents and then the source. So it's actually reading from the document library called reports. So, and then uh, so uh, there are some prompt suggestions for which we can start with, summarize the key highlights, and then create like a FAQ uh, for, the, for the document library. So I'm not gonna save this because I already have created the agent. So I'm just gonna go back to the previous screen um, previous tab. So I have the startup prompts here where we can go through to ask the SharePoint agent to summarize any key financial highlights from quarterly earnings. So 
Well, we send this out, we get a city response from the agents, summarizing all of the key financial highlights from quarterly earnings. So it's taking a bit of time. Hey, come on, come on, come on. All right, so we have it bringing out the data from the document library. So we have it um, showcasing the quarter three, that is the top quarter of 2024 earnings report, and giving the detailed combination of the total figures as well as uh, the expense by share, depending on the records that is existed within the SharePoint uh, document library. And so it carries, it carries with it carries with it the citation where the, the information is being pulled up from, and then we can be able to assess that. So let's go to the second prompt suggestions that I'm driving somewhere. Then we'll go click on this. Uh, what are the most common financial KPIs mentioned in our internal reports? So it's going to go through the document library to search through uh, the semantics around the internal reports for financial KPIs. And then it will pull off the data for us and then give us the summary view of uh, each of the bullet points around the KPIs. Uh, for the financial records. So this is what we have, and it also comes along with its citation to the respective document where the information is being pulled up from. All right, so for the third one, uh, create, a, create an FAQ based on this resource. At least, um, yeah, so making of the, the suggested prompts, at least to give, uh, to make the section a bit more brief since we are running out of time. And then, um, so for the FAQ, what I tried to do was to create a separate page to carry the FAQ. And where it also comes down to is having the FAQ as, as a SharePoint page, which can be assessed from the sites um, as for, the, for ease of uh, information. So where I did that was to create this, so having an FAQ to to bring or to bring into summary uh, all the documents within the document library, um, the information within the document library, and it carries with it the uh, the citations and the the relative documents that has those information that we have been pulled off from from the FAQ um, using the agents. So we can see here what are the key financial results for Q3 2024. So this is like this this is possible like a common questions that will be asked on business review. And uh, you know when stakeholders come together, they always want to see the numbers. So just to re uh, just to put it out there, uh, so is it is a simulated document? It is not uh, uh, it, yeah, you know, when it comes down to financial reports, it's very sensitive. So but this is just simulated for the sake of this demo um, and, um, and to 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 put the eyes on the cake. It was actually created by Copilot. I created this document with is using Copilot. So I try to you know, bring home the points, what financial reporting could be like using a SharePoint agent to be able to create like a very simple uh, functional agent that will help to at least give a brief, I mean, give like you, you have been able to get if uh, an information from the agents around financial reporting. So each of these questions carries with it the link to view more on the, the uh, for, for each of the questions, as you can see, and then when we click on it to few more, it goes and open the document that carries the information. So we're able to review and see in detail what that particular question is referring to and to have and to at least give one a better understanding on the explanation around the question. Excuse me. So uh, yeah, so that was what I did. I tried to use it to create an, a, separate, a separate SharePoint page uh, to at least carry the FAQs around the documents that resides on the report documents library as we have here. So um, OK, so back to my slide. So that's about my presentation for today. Yeah, I, it's, I think it's a kind of rush, but um, at least you, we all know how to be able to go through cre creating SharePoint agents. There is no rocket science behind it, so very easy to do. So please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, GitHub, and then at least you can also take a look at my publications on Medium. And then, yes, thank you all for having me. Thank you, David. Back to you.